This is Photo Bob here. Welcome back. Hey, um, just got in my uh, uh, stabilizer links from uh, Mark Hodge down in Virginia, and I'll put more information down in the uh, description on how you can uh, contact Mark and get your own set of adjustable stabilizers for your Kubota BX. Actually, he makes uh, stabilizers for a variety of different uh, tractors. Uh, so if you like this, take a look at his uh, uh, website, look at his videos, look at what he has to offer, and uh, maybe you'll be interested in buying your own set of adjustable stabilizers for your three-point hitch. So what I've done, I've gone ahead and loosened the uh, stabilizers, the factory ones, and I'm just uh, uninstalling them right now, and then I'll uh, go over the adjustable stabilizers with you here in a minute. Let's uh, get this hardware off. I believe a lot of this hardware will be reused. So I'm just gonna go with uh, what goes right here. Let's see here. First thing we'll do is remove this hot plate, let that fall down. Now make things more. And we'll prop that up. And you'll see that. That video that I did. Like I, I like to say, it's the small things that make your tractor great. You know, these are great tractors right out of the box, and they can do a lot of things, but with the right modification, you can have them do more. They are infinitely more adjustable. Now, I would say what I should have done here, what I should have did, was taken and got that. Should have straightened that car pin. I know. I'm just going to reuse it. I have a box of car pins somewhere. All right, let's move this to the other side. It did make it a little easier getting that car pin out. So straighten that car pin before you uh, remove the linkage. I'll put this in my box of Kubota parts in the event I ever sell it or buy it up. If I sell it, just sell it and let's say operate to a B series, I would probably allow the mods to go with it with some exceptions. But if I would upgrade to say a 23S with a backhoe, I would probably save these mods so that I would just swap them over to the new tractor. than it should have been. I probably made it hard on myself. Now, what I like to do when I put these things on, I like to wipe down the tractor. So let me grab a couple rags and I'll clean this up a bit. The first thing I'll wipe down is this PTO cover. Folks, I never wash my tractor. That's a shame. Until it comes time to work on it, then it might get a little bit of cleanup. I'm going to get some cleaner and clean this PTO shaft off a little bit. Someone tell me down in the comments if you know, should this PTO shaft output have grease on it or not? And if so, most of the time, I don't put anything on the PTO shaft. I do have a uh, tiller that I've hooked up to the PTO, and that's the only PTO-driven item I've ever used. What is that? That's something. Oh, I see. Okay. Ooh, that's interesting. That's awful loose. Remove the implement, because I've used my tiller one time, and then once I took it off, I never used it again. I don't think. But I might, now that I have these adjustable stabilizers, be more willing to uh, swap out implements. That's what I'm hoping. You know, how many of you like them WD-40 cans that go dead on you halfway through the can? Let's see if I got another bottle. Comment about your WD-40 down below. <laughs> this one's dead too. Oh, no, it ain't. There we go. I dropped this can and knocked the uh, top off of it a week ago. That's much better. I've got a variety of different mods that I bought from different suppliers. I've used uh, uh, BX, BX attachments, I think it's called. I've used Ken's bolt-on hooks. I've used... Paul Shorts modifications, and I've used AI2 products modifications. 
anybody wants to comment about what modifications they've done to their tractor to make the tractor more useful for them so they can get more out of their tractor, hey, tell me about your uh, mods that you've done. Tell me what you use your tractor for down below. I'd like to hear what you use your tractor for around your home, around your homestead. Tell me what kind of tractor you have and why you like it or why you don't like it. Would you buy it again or would you not? I think I'd buy another BX, but I probably, if I did it again, I probably would buy a B model. Something just a little bit bigger, a little more weight. This does everything. You know, mainly what I use my tractor for is cutting the grass, but I do log with it for firewood. That makes the job a lot nicer. And then I just do various little odds and ends, whether it's, you know, carrying my tools to where I'm going to burn out a stump in the yard or cutting hedges, you know, just doing yard work, stuff like that. But, you know, if you use your, your tractor for something other than mowing your grass. So these are Mark Hodge's adjustable stabilizers. They're, they're different. There's a right side and a left side. Basically, he has these pins and then the stable, there are holes in the outer and then holes on the inner. And depending on how wide you need your three point hitch, your lift arms uh, will determine where you pin it. So, this says BX 1850 right side facing the rear. This would be my right side. Attach this end to the lift arm. First thoughts, easy to install, heavy duty construction. Um, these are old, I just bought a brand new uh, 
bolt to go in here and this is why I bought this is why I wanted to get these Hodge adjustable stabilizers was because this bolt was bending it's as I had it I I only put it on and off one time maybe twice and this bolt is bent and it's just been on for the summer since spring till now it works it but it's time consuming to uh, to take your implement on and off with that design. It's a lot of twisting. I don't know. I don't like them. Um, but it's what you got when you have a uh, stock VX tractor. So um, I think what I'm going to do is get some spray paint and spray paint um, the flange here and this so that I know which side goes on which so I'm, I got some yellow spray paint and maybe a, another color I think I got black but I think I'm going to paint these because these are um, directional and have to be put on you know the right side has to go on the right side and the left side goes on the left side and end for end uh, you, these are very well engineered and it would be difficult to make it universal that it could fit on either side. I don't think you could do that and have this uh, kind of a quality product. So um, with that being said, let's go ahead and throw my, uh, my uh, stinger adapter on back on and uh, adjust it up, see how it works. Let's put one side in. And let's throw the other side on. Let's lower the top pin. That's it. It's on. It's done. That quick. We'll adjust it. We'll put that one in that hole. And that one in that hole. Now, that's pretty much centered. We've got a little bit of sway. Not much. Super. Thank you, Mark. Again, I'll put a uh, link down below to Mark's website where you can... Uh, Reach out to Mark and see if uh, he can build one of these for you. And uh, again, hey, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, go ahead and share this video with a friend who might be interested in some of these uh, adjustable stabilizers. Might make their life a lot easier. And hit the subscribe button. I'd appreciate that. So... Until next time, this is Boda Bob calling this a wrap.